Psalms 94 and 5. It says, they break in pieces thy people, O Lord Yahweh, and afflict their inheritance, man. So they're crushing the Lord's people, man. That's what Esau do. Hey, we the last hired, the first fired, man. Esau, Esau is feeding us GMOs, man, poisoning us with chemtrails. When our babies are being born, they're taking them and, and putting uh, the marisol in them and mercury in them with those shots, man. They make these grievous laws when you read in Isaiah the 10th chapter. They make these grievous laws, man, that we have to abide by. And when it's when it's to our advantage, they come out with a uh, a different law, subseding the law that they have. It's always a point one, a point two, section E point three. It's always a loophole in, in their laws and their society, man. It's always a loophole, man. It says they break in pieces thy like people, O Yahweh, and afflict thine inheritance, man. So they, they basically hurt the ones uh what you, what you call the apple of the Lord's eye, man. Let me read that. Dude, I love Darren Brown. So Darren Brown is like Zachariah. Zechariah. Zechariah 2 and 8. It says, For thus said the Lord of hosts, after the glory he have sent me unto the nations which spoil you, for he that toucheth you touches the apple of his eye, man. He that touches you touches the apple of his eye, man. Right? So, hey, you have put your hands on the Israelites. The Lord said, What? Vengeance is mine, man. So the Lord is going to repay back the nations that brought Israel into slavery. These seven captivities, man. All these nations are going to pay, man. Mainly Esau, man. You're, you're the number one. You're the number one target, man. That the Lord is going to uh, 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 punish, man. You know? And it says, uh, they slay the widow and the stranger and murder the fatherless, man. Right? And that's what they did, man. Murder, murder the fatherless. Plus, how, how, what else? Another way did that happen? By feeding those false doctrines also, man. You know? Feeding you this false doctrine of, of Christianity. Uh, God is love, man. Everybody can make it. That's killing, that's killing the father and the widows, man. You know? Telling them that they're, they're not Israelites. It says, yet, verse 7, yet they say the Lord Yahweh shall not see, neither shall the God of Jacob regard it, man. You know? So you think that the Lord ain't gonna see the bloodshed that y'all done? You think the Lord ain't gonna ain't see the, the murders that you committed? All the evil that you done, Esau? All the wickedness that you're guilty of? You think the Lord ain't seen it? Right? He sees everything, man. Matter of fact, go over one or two chapters. Psalm 97. In two, it says, clouds and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and judgment are the habitation of his throne. So those clouds of darkness, which I, when I read that, let me read, uh, let me read this first and that'll just make more sense. Job 22. Job 22 and 13. It says, and thou says, how doth the God know? Can he judge through the dark clouds? So they're saying, how, how do God know what we're doing? Can he judge through a dark cloud, man? Because it says that dark cloud sits around his throne. So they're thinking like, how can he see through all these dark clouds? How can he hear through these dark clouds, man? Anything, it, the scriptures tell you in, in Luke 1, man, all things are possible, man, with your how about Shimmy, I was shy, man. He is in that in that cloud that sits, that sits around the throne, man. He sees everything, man. Only, only a fool would think that he don't see he don't see what you're doing. He sees everything, man. And it says, uh, verse eight. Verse eight. It says, "Understand ye brutish and among you people, man, and ye fools when ye 
will when will you be wise, man? So when y'all gonna wisen up? You know, the brutish other people, man. You senseless other people. When you gonna wisen up, man? To this devil, man. It says, "He that planted the ear shall not hear; he that formed the eye shall not see." Right. So it tells you in the scripture that basically that that ear that hear it and the eye that see it, man. The Lord He made both of them, man. So He gonna be able to see everything that's going on. He gonna hear everything that's going on, man. Ain't nothing you can do to get around it. And it says, uh, I can read. Let me read Proverbs twenty. Proverbs twenty and twelve, and it says. Uh, book of Proverbs 20 and 12 Proverbs 20 and 12 and it says the hearing ear and the seeing eye the Lord Yahweh have made even both of them man so the Lord hear everything you do so when you gonna stop being wise and think that he ain't seeing you doing these these wicked acts man committing these murders and committing all this evil the Lord see everything man you think he's not looking through that dark cloud, man. He see everything you're doing. And you will be recompensed for, for, for your error, man. It says, verse 10, He that chasteneth the heathen shall he shall not he uh, correct. So, hey, he did it in the old world, man. Like I say, he had a flood that swept away everybody. He had a fire that rained down on Sodom and Gomorrah and rained brimstone. Right? Did he not do that? Right? It says, it says, uh, he that teaches man knowledge, shall he not, shall not he know? So the knowledge and the wisdom and the understanding with the Lord Yahweh is infinite, man. He gonna know, man. You know, he gonna know, man. Uh, John, John 1 and 9. John 1 and 9 says this. John 1 and 9. It says, That was the true light, which light every man that cometh into the world. And that's that light, man. You know, that's that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that's, that's given. That knowledge, that's that light, man. You know? Romans, Romans 2 and 12. Romans 2 and 12, and it says this. For as many as have sinned without the law shall also perish without the law. So many have sinned without the law because the law wasn't given to you either. So the ones who sin without the law, you're still going to be destroyed. And it says, and as many as have sinned in the law shall be judged by the law in the Israelites. These are the ones the law was given to. So these are the people who are going to be judged by the law. And even the ones who wasn't given the law, you Edomites, who, who the law didn't even pertain to, you still going to die, man. Verse 11, back in Psalms 94 and 11. The Lord knoweth the thoughts of man that are vanity, man. So your thoughts are basically worthless, man, with the Lord, man. You know, they're, they're, they're worthless, man. Uh, Psalms 1, let's look at Psalms 139 and 2. Psalms 139 and 2. And it says, it's like it. Psalms 139 and 2, thou knowest, thou knowest my down sitting and my uprising, Thou understandest my thoughts are far off, man. This is what the which is what David is saying. That you know my thoughts, man. And the Lord know everything you thinking, man. He put the he, when you sleep at night pursuing the Job, the thirty third chapter, he fill up your head with the he fill up uh, your uh, your penal gland with the instructions, man. He loads your chip, man. He loads you up, man. Your 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 penal gland, your. You know, he loads you up, man. He, he sealed your instructions of what you're going to do the next day. He knows your thoughts, man. You know, just like Yahweh knew, knew 
knew them uh, wicked Pharisees and Sadducees. He knew their thoughts too. Uh, let me show you where he, he, he said he told them he knew their thoughts. I think it's in, uh, I want to say, is it Matthews? Let's see here. Con, it says Matthew 9, when when Yahweh shot heal his paralyzed man, it says, and he entered into a ship and passed over and came into his own city. And behold, they brought to him a man sick with palsy, lying in the bed. And Yahweh Shai, seeing their faith, said unto to thee, Sick of the palsy, son, be of good cheer. Thou sins be forgiven thee. And behold, certain of the scribes said within themselves, This man blasphemed, right? And Yahweh Shai, knowing their thoughts, said, Wherefore think ye evil in your hearts, man? So they was thinking this in their head, man. And he knew. They were just thinking. No, they probably didn't know what they were thinking. They were thinking God damn, they probably would call them all kind of whatever, whatever word we use, they use for calling us nigga today. They was calling him, man, that damn snake. He's fucking blaspheming. But he told them. Like what? He heard it. He basically know their thoughts, man. You know? He knew they thoughts, man. That's, that's the power of your house shot. And that's one of the powers that, that the Lord is going to put on his elect men in that day when he gives us spiritual power, man. We will be able to understand the people's thoughts out here. And Esau know it because they just, they did a movie. They did two movies within the last four years. One movie had uh, Richard Gere on there. He would, he could He could hear... He could actually know what the women were thinking when they went by him. And then the last movie they just had that came out about two weeks ago with uh, T -T Taraji Henson, where she was hearing the men, their thoughts. So that's scriptural, man. They get the, they get those movies out of the scriptures. Everything Hollywood does, they get it out of the scriptures. That's two movies that they put out uh, that edifies that scripture, that the Lord, you can hear the thoughts, man. You know? Back in Psalms 94 and 12, blessed is the man whom thou chastenest. It says, blessed is the man whom thou chastenest, O Yahweh, and teaches him out of the law, meaning out of this doctrine, that thou mayest, uh, that thou mayest give him rest from the days of his adversary, man. That he might give us rest from the days of his adversary until the pit be digged for the wicked, man. So hey, it's gonna be a time of refreshing for the Israelites, man. He gonna give us rest, man. You know, the Lord, hey, he has Esau, man, uh, basically whooping our ass right now. But it's gonna come a time when he come, he gonna give us that rest from 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 Esau, man. And we're gonna watch him basically uh, do all the work, man. That time is coming. You know. says that thou mayest give him rest from the days of thy adversary into that pit be dug for the wicked man and that that that's the one that's that's that after the thousand years man where we basically gonna dig an actual pit man and, and basically put it on fire and have you Edomites walk into it man we're gonna take you out in that time man that's the Lord is gonna gonna basically eradicate Esau man from the from the earth man says that thou mayest give him rest from the days of his adversary, man. So, hey, when we, when we, hey, we've been taught basically under affliction, right? Hey, so much so we become basically tranquil, you know? You know? Submitting ourselves to the Lord, you know? It says, that thou mayest give him rest, man. Because hey, he saw hey, he ain't he ain't he ain't stopped trying to come up with laws to destroy the Israelites. When you read in Psalms 83, it tells you, man. Let's 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 uh, uh make them not uh, no more be in remembrance, man. Cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel be no more remembrance. 
so they they constantly on their job, man. They constantly on their, on their job, but the Lord is getting ready to give us that rest, man, that we we so desire, man. And we look for and we hope for. The word hope is an expectation of something good or something evil. The expectation we hope in the Lord saves, man. The evil that brings evil on our adversaries, man. Put the put the proper put, put the people in the proper place, man. You know, the Israelites are the ones who are supposed to be on top of this society, man. The people were made for our sakes, man. This land was made for our sakes. The galaxies were made for the Israelites' sakes, man. That's why the Lord, the Yahweh Shai said, I go and, and I go to my father's house, man. I prepare a place for you, man. He's preparing these different mansions, these different planets, man, for us to inhabit, man. And it says, verse 14, for the Lord Yahweh will not uh, cast off his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance, man. The people who he foreknew. His chosen people. He said he will not cast them away, man. So that that when you see the uh the, the congregation of the Edomites, along with the Ishmaelites, the Hagarines, and Ashur, Moab, and all them that they came and made the council to basically try to make us not be in the more remembrance, the Lord said he would not cast off his people who he foreknew, right? Uh let's see. Book of Romans. Romans. Uh, Romans eleven and one. Romans eleven and one. I say then, have the Most High cast away His people? It's a question behind that. It says, God forbid, meaning no. It says, for I am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. God have not cast away his people, which he foreknew. What ye not, what the scripture said of Elijah, he that make an intercession to the Most High against Israel, saying, the Lord, they have killed my prophets, and dig down thine altars, and I am not left alone, and seek my life, man. This is dealing with the elect, man. But what said the answer of the Most High unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of by all, man. So the Lord has an elect, man, right? That has not served other gods, man. And if, we, if they did, they came back to the Heavenly Father when they came back to the truth, man. You know? 